Have you ever wondered how climate change might affect your favorite seafood dish? Let's dive into the world beneath the ocean's surface and explore how climate change impacts our marine life and consequently our seafood. Climate change, a term we're all familiar with, refers to the long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. The primary cause is human activity, such as burning fossil fuels, which increases levels of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, warming our planet. Now let's translate that to our oceans. The oceans absorb about a third of the carbon dioxide we produce, and with the rise in greenhouse gas emissions, our oceans are becoming warmer. But what does a rise in ocean temperatures mean for seafood? Well, marine life is quite sensitive to changes in temperature. As the oceans warm, many species of fish and shellfish find their habitats shrinking. They're forced to migrate to cooler waters to survive. This shift in distribution affects not only the marine ecosystem, but also our seafood supply. For example, Atlantic cod, a cold water species, has seen significant population declines due to warming waters. But it's not just about the fish moving. Warmer waters can also accelerate the life cycles of certain sea creatures, causing them to mature faster and die younger. This impacts the size of the seafood we catch and can lead to a decrease in the overall supply. Here's a staggering fact. A study published in the journal Nature found that the world's supply of seafood could decline by more than 15% by the end of the century if greenhouse gas emissions continue at their current rate. So the next time you're enjoying your favorite seafood dish, remember that the choices we make on land have a profound impact on the world beneath the waves. Understanding the effects of climate change on our seas is the first step to addressing the imbalances we are creating. To fully grasp the impact of climate change on seafood, we need to delve into the science behind it. Let's start with temperature. The world's oceans absorb over 90% of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases, causing the waters to get warmer. Now, fish are cold-blooded creatures, which means their body temperature changes with their environment. As the ocean warms, metabolic rates in fish speed up, leading to faster growth but smaller sizes. This is because the increased metabolism requires more food intake, but the warmer water also holds less oxygen, making it harder for fish to get the energy they need, so they end up smaller. Then there's ocean acidification. The oceans absorb about a quarter of the carbon dioxide humans produce. When CO2 dissolves in seawater, it forms carbonic acid, making the oceans more acidic. This is a problem for shellfish like oysters, clams and corals, which construct their shells and skeletons out of calcium carbonate. As the ocean becomes more acidic, it becomes more difficult for these creatures to build and maintain their shells, often leading to thinner shells and slower growth rates. In addition, there's the issue of shifting marine ecosystems. Warmer waters push fish and other marine species towards the poles, disrupting the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. This migration alters the geographical distribution of seafood, making it harder for fishermen to catch their usual haul and for consumers to find their favorite seafood. And let's not forget about the rise in sea levels. As glaciers and ice caps melt, the sea level rises, flooding coastal habitats where many fish and shellfish species spawn and grow. This loss of nursery areas can lead to a decline in these species, further reducing seafood availability. Armed with this knowledge, we can see how climate change is not just a distant threat, but a present reality affecting our dinner plates. Let's examine some real-world examples of how climate change is impacting seafood availability and distribution. First, let's look at the North Atlantic, once teeming with cod. The waters here used to be a veritable gold mine for cod fishermen, but now things have taken a drastic turn. Over the past few decades, warming waters have led to a significant decline in cod populations. The Gulf of Maine, for instance, has warmed faster than 99% of the world's increase in cod stocks. This isn't just about numbers on a chart, it's about the livelihoods of fishermen and the communities that rely on this industry. Then we have the case of the crab fisheries in Alaska, another stark example of climate change's impact on seafood. Alaskan king crab is a delicacy enjoyed worldwide, but in recent years these crabs have been harder to find. The culprit? Ocean acidification, a side effect of higher carbon dioxide levels in our atmosphere. As the oceans absorb more CO2, they become more acidic, making it harder for crabs and other shellfish to form their protective shells. 
In the last 20 years, we've seen a staggering 50% decline in king crab populations in some areas of Alaska. Or let's consider the Pacific oysters in the US West Coast. Warmer ocean temperatures have led to increased instances of harmful algal blooms, which can be deadly to these oysters. In 2005, a massive bloom caused a near total collapse of the oyster industry in Washington state. This event served as a wake-up call to many about the real and present dangers of climate change to our seafood. These are not isolated incidents, but rather pieces of a larger global pattern. From the Coral Triangle to the North Sea, climate change is disrupting seafood industries and threatening food security. These case studies paint a troubling picture of the future of seafood if we fail to address climate change. So, what does the future hold for seafood in a world affected by climate change? The future of seafood is, in many ways, a reflection of our future with climate change. Our oceans, the lifeblood of our planet, are threatened by a warming climate, and this directly affects the availability and distribution of seafood. Based on current climate change trends, we could be looking at a future where many of our favorite seafood species are no longer available. Rising sea temperatures are forcing fish to migrate towards cooler waters, disrupting traditional fishing grounds. This could lead to a significant reduction in the catch of popular species like cod, haddock and lobster. The implications of these changes are far-reaching. Not only would this impact the diversity of seafood available to us, but it could also have serious implications for global food security. Over one billion people, particularly in developing countries, rely on fish as their main source of protein. A decrease in seafood availability could thus exacerbate food insecurity and poverty in these regions. Furthermore, the seafood industry is a vital part of many economies, both big and small. Globally, the seafood industry is worth over $400 billion and provides livelihoods for millions of people. Significant changes in the availability and distribution of seafood could lead to job losses and economic instability. But it's not all doom and gloom. While some species may struggle, others could thrive in warmer waters. Squid, octopus and jellyfish are all expected to become more abundant as the seas warm. This could lead to new opportunities for fishing communities and seafood lovers alike. However, these potential benefits are not a reason to ignore the wider implications of climate change. We need to act now to limit the damage to our oceans and the seafood they provide. The future of seafood is in our hands. We have the power to change the course we're on. Now that we understand the problem, the question becomes, what can we do about it? There are several potential solutions to mitigate the impact of climate change on seafood. One of the most immediate actions we can take is to adopt sustainable fishing practices. Overfishing not only depletes fish populations, but also disrupts the balance of marine ecosystems. By supporting local fisheries that follow sustainable practices, we can help maintain the health and diversity of our seas. In addition to this, we can also play a part in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. These gases are the primary drivers of global warming, causing sea temperatures to rise and leading to changes in the availability and distribution of seafood. Simple changes in our daily lives, such as using public transport, recycling, or reducing our meat consumption can significantly reduce our individual carbon footprints. If we all made these small changes, the collective impact would be enormous. Furthermore, we can support research into climate change and marine life. Scientists are working tirelessly to understand the intricacies of our changing climate and its effect on the world's oceans. By supporting this research, either through donations or by advocating for government funding, we can help accelerate the development of strategies to counteract these changes. We can also educate ourselves and others about the importance of our oceans and the creatures that inhabit them. The more we understand, the more likely we are to respect and protect these precious resources. And finally, our consumer choices can make a big difference. By choosing to purchase seafood from sustainable sources, we can send a powerful message to the industry that we value the long-term health of our oceans over short-term profits. Each one of these actions may seem small in isolation, but collectively they can make a significant difference. The challenge of climate change can seem overwhelming, but remember, we are not powerless. Each one of us has a role to play in ensuring the future of seafood. It's time to take action.